What kind of are you taking? That's my favorite, but um, uh, embalming fluid. What, what happens when you take embalming fluid? I mean, do you drink you embalming fluid? No, it makes you, you smoke hot? it. You smoke embalming fluid. Yeah. And it just makes you to smoke embalming fluid. Yeah. How do you explain this? How do you explain your behavior? I like living the high life. I so you like living the high life. So you can go and do what you want to do. Yeah. Figure as fun. long as you're living in your mom and dad's house, you don't have to do anything else. It's my life. It's your life. You are having sex with whoever you want to have sex with? Yeah. I don't just go out and have sex with everybody, but yeah. So how many partners have you had? Roughly. Five? Ten? Fifteen? Twenty? No. Unprotected Sometimes. Sometimes. So that you know that not only are you having sex, whole risk of teenage pregnancy, but you're exactly. also exposing yourself to transmitted diseases that um. I got the police report about last night. Let's talk about last night. You are 15 years old and you went to a bar last night in New York City. Mm -hmm. All right, and then what happened? <laughs> But you went into this bar. I went into the bar, and then I had some drinks. How many drinks? Like five. Five drinks. Then I left the bar, and I started hitchhiking, and... You were hitchhiking in New, New York, York City? City. <laughs> so anybody could have picked you up. And then I got picked up by a limo, limo driver, though, and he showed me around town. Yeah. You're telling me that you I ran around with some stranger in New York City until 4 o'clock this morning? Is that what and you are telling me? I want you to spend time with a woman who didn't make the right choices. How you doing? Think you're tough? You're coming with me. This is jail. Don't nobody care about you once you enter them gates. You're on your own. Nobody. Nobody. You're on your own. It. It's easy to get in, but it's hard to get out. They strip you everything. You're dignity. You got to listen to everybody. You don't have no say-so in nothing. I would give anything to turn back the hands of time if I wouldn't make the mistakes that I made this day. Yeah. Stand here with us for a little while. Stand here with us. Uh, stand here with us. Put it on like two ten. Ten. No, put it on Put it three away. I'm saying though. Why are you here? Why are you here? You know what I'm saying? This is not no joke. Word is why stay out of the system. You try to be all grown and stuff. You gonna be up in here with me? You wanna be my girl or what? These walls make you think you are the smallest thing in this world. When you on the street, you have your freedom taken from you. Once you get to this, you can't get out. it's gone. Tell them. Tell them about you. Help them understand. Um, my mom's got cancer. And. Talk to us. I have three little sisters. What you gonna do when you don't have no family out there no more? My mom's passed away four days before I came home from doing seven years with me. I had nobody to come out there to. Nothing, no one. Oh gosh, it was traumatic. It was just, it was really, really scary. I just never want to end up in a place like that. And I, I don't know, I'm afraid, because whenever I go home, you know, and I'm bored and I'm sitting around there, you know, I'm gonna want to get I'm going to order now that she be sent to this ranch and that we're going to follow it for, uh, to see her progress. You have anything you want to tell me before you leave? No, I'd just like to apologize to my dad. Maybe Thank a you. hug would help right now. <laughs>